Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video I'm going to have the latest from the live radar from the latest UKV have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as we have got a dry and fairly chilly working week coming up. we have noticed temperatures today feeling really quite nippy out there especially towards those northern areas where we have got that northerly wind moving in. Frost in a few spots. It will get a little bit warmer over the coming days maybe towards the high teens by the end of the week but we will still feel nippy with an easterly wind now starting to push in. As we end the weekend, we will likely see the Atlantic trying to break through. And that's kind of the point where we start to see some quite big uncertainty, as we'll see from some of the longer range charts. Will the Atlantic break back through or will this high pressure block that we've had over the top of us for the last couple of days and for the rest of this week. Will that win out? We'll have to wait and see. But definitely some differing views at the moment and it could have uh, some huge differential outcomes as we head into early October. So do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Now, if you start on the live radar, not too much going on, of course, in this sort of scenario. High pressure with a northerly turning towards an easterly wind at the moment. It is cold and recording this around 9pm, you can see the temperatures are falling away quite rapidly. Uh, again, all those blues showing temperatures down into the mid single digits. Uh, but of course, the same factor, the feel like temperature is that wind. Again, it's not particularly strong, but it is a cold, dry wind. And you can just feel that air is originated from the Arctic. Uh, it's just got that wintry feel out there through today. Now, if you look at the latest UKV, you can see this sort of pattern doesn't really go anywhere for the next few days. The easterly gets stronger as we head into Tuesday, and it could allow a bit more cloud and the odd shower down the east coast, but still don't expect anything too crazy. The same could be said for Wednesday, where again, things look pretty much the same. Thursday as well. And into Friday, we start to see weather fronts trying to push in from the west, but it's mainly for parts of the Republic of Ireland there, still further eastwards. It's chilly with an easterly flow. Into Saturday, though, that weather front makes progress because it really stalls during much of Saturday, not moving much, um, kind of hovering over Wales, the West Midlands, Northwest England and Southwest England there, really not doing much at all. And that's because it's coming up against that higher pressure. So the high pressure out to our east, low pressure out to our west, and it's this battle that's going on. Now, as it approaches, it actually does push up a bit of a southerly wind. So we would actually start to see some warmer air getting pushed in, or at least warm for late September. So that's the only positive I can see from this scenario. Um, but yeah, would potentially start to push in some more unsettled conditions but it's this real battle as we'll see from the long range charts in a few moments time which one wins out could dominate the last couple of days of september and early october because if that high gets pushed away there's a high chance then that the lows really dominate whereas if the high holds on it could be uh, around for a nor uh, for more extended period of time if you look at the max temperatures, you can see earlier this afternoon peaking at 15 or 16 and very quickly this evening temperatures dropping away down towards the mid single digits or even low single digits come early hours of Tuesday. And by the afternoon, maybe nudging a degree or two higher, 16, 17. Chilly once again into Wednesday morning, but not quite as cold with a bit more cloud around, more around the 7 to 11 degree mark. Into Wednesday afternoon, nudging slightly higher, 17 or 18 could be a possibility. And then as we head into Thursday, again, 18, maybe a 19. And Friday, again, a chilly morning down towards the mid single digits. And again, could get up towards those 17, 18 degree mark. And finally into Saturday, it turns slightly warmer, maybe even 19 in the east. But it's coming up against that background of heavier rain, trying to push in for the west, which inevitably would lead to cooler and unsettled conditions so we'll have to wait and see exactly how that weekend does play out but there's a high chance that nothing happens at all and that, that weather front doesn't push in but at the same time it could push all the way through and we all go unsettled once again and we can evaluate that on the longer range charts now so you can see the high pressure is in control and it slowly pushes an easterly wind in over the next few days as we head into next weekend though we do see those lows trying to make some progress now, this latest GFS doesn't flirt with that idea at all and actually keeps that southerly or southeasterly wind all the way through to the start of October. And then the lows break through and it does go pretty unsettled, maybe even quite stormy there, especially in the north and the west. And you can see some big lows out towards Greenland and Iceland. Fortunately, we're not right sat under this trough, but we're very close by. So I wouldn't be surprised to see some of the some secondary impacts of this system. So yeah, it could be really quite unsettled there but as i said out towards kind of day seven day eight 
it looks great. High pressure and control. We can see southerly or southeasterly breeze, upper temperatures up towards the mid to high single digits. So most likely touching high teens at the surface. Yes, still feeling fresh. It is late September, early October. It's never going to be that warm uh, without sort of an extraordinary pattern developing, but definitely not too bad at all. Now, if you compare to the GM, again, high pressure and control, easterly winds pushing in, but very quickly into the weekend, the low pressure breaks through. Now, high pressure actually does return for a time. And then we start to see perhaps an Atlantic onslaught trying to break back through once again. So GM, a bit of a mixed run here, does push lows back in for a time, but very quickly high reestablish itself, and then lows could push back in by day 10. Now, finally, if we compare to the latest ECMWF, again, high pressure control, easterly winds, low makes a little bit of an influence there into the weekend, but most of the time the high holds on. And all the way to day 10, it looks high and dry, and none of those big troughs towards southern Greenland or Iceland. And you see, it's got a bit of a far-fetched southwesterly here, and I wouldn't be surprised to actually be seeing pretty warm conditions at the surface if we put on these max temperatures. Doesn't look like they're loading, unfortunately. But if we look at the upper air temperatures, you see 10 or 11 degrees, maybe even 12 degrees, which is warm. We'd see temperatures potentially even touching 20 degrees in this sort of scenario. So to be honest, east of the ref doesn't look too bad. GM is pretty mixed, so is the GFS. It does hold on to that high for a little bit longer, but then it goes the most unsettled. The GM, much uh, more fluctuations within that. But uh, the ECMWF, um, yeah, high and dry, looks pretty beautiful indeed out there as we do head towards the early portion of October. Now, if you look at the latest ensembles, these are the latest GFS, you can see we're cold at the moment, but slowly trending back towards average and might not actually get back towards average until the last few days of September. So we're still expecting it to be average or below average over the next kind of six or seven days, regardless of what happens with the pressure patterns. So it's not going to be remarkably cold, it's a couple of degrees, but um, still chilly nonetheless. Longer term into early October, we've got more moderate precipitation, so more of those runs are looking at the unsettled conditions returning. And you can see there are some varying upper air temperatures within these ensemble runs. More, though, are warmer than cool. So kind of got a few scenarios there. We've got southwesterlies with a stormy pattern. We've got southeasterly with that high in control. No runs, though, showing cold northeasterlies or northerly. So that's one positive. Yes, it might be unsettled, but at least it might be pretty mild. Sea level pressure definitely slowly dropping. So regardless of what eventually wins out longer term, we are going to see low pressure creeping closer by. And that's the drop in pressure from around 1,027, 28 down to 1,018, 19. Again, not a remarkable drop, not towards you know, huge low pressure, but definitely a drop that could allow more showers, rain and cloud return. And then if we finally go back to the ECM, WF, it's broadly very similar. Take quite a while to get back towards average precipitation picking up as we head into next weekend. And then longer term, our prayer temperatures are above average. Precipitation is fairly moderate. And if we look at those surface temperatures from the ECMWF, again, slow upwards trend. You'd think it'd be a little bit more of an upwards trend, but the reason why it kind of falls off a little bit is because we're heading towards middle, uh, early October. It is going to get cooler inevitably as we head towards the winter months. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, we are you know, slowly running out of any sort of moderately warm potential. We probably ran out proper warmth a couple of weeks ago, but now we're kind of running out of the potential to see those 20s, low 20s days. Um, yeah, going to be few and far between, if any at all, given the latest output. So we'll wait and see exactly what happens over the next couple of weeks. But the one thing we say, not looking at much disruption over the next five, six or even seven days. Very little rainfall. Um, yeah, Lots of sunshine, lots of dry conditions, but chilly. Uh, hopefully those temperatures do rise. So to be honest, apart from maybe the temperatures being a few degrees warmer, you can't ask for much more than this as we head into the final week of September. We saw a lot of rain on Saturday, especially in the north and west, and we've seen a lot of unsettled and stormy conditions throughout September. So it's pretty nice here to be ending on a pretty high note with dry, sunny conditions as we head to the end of the first month of autumn. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed subscribing if you're new, and I'll see you again for a video soon.